Hey there, it's Rob, the Ignorant Entrepreneur. Now, if you've been following me, you know that I've been smitten with MidJourney. And now we have Dal E, which is another image generator which was previously restricted from the general public. But I'm here to tell you that as of the 28th of September, it's now open to everyone. Now, like I was saying in my other video, this really opens the floodgates for everybody, regular people that wanna be artists. So I wanna talk about this for a little bit and then I wanna talk about the next level, which is actually video generation from AI, which Facebook seems to have a, uh, a pretty solid uh, lead on. So, but with DALL-E, which is owned by OpenAI, which was founded by, what is this guy not founded? Elon Musk, Sam Altman, and a few others. Musk has since resigned, but has remained a donor and is a competitor of Google's DeepMind. So DALL-E, it's gonna be a commercial service and new users will get 50 credits that they can use towards creating their own pieces of artwork from text that the AI will then generate for them. Now you can actually see how this works in my mid journey video. I am going to be downloading and trying out Dali, but there's one key thing I want you to keep in mind. And uh, I'll go into what this will all cost after the first 50 free credits. I want you to keep in mind, and I'm looking at the terms and services for both mid journey and Dali. While in mid journey, and I'll actually read this verbatim, I quote, by using the services, you grant MidJourney its successors and assigns a perpetual, worldwide, non-exclusive, sub-licensable, no-charge, royalty-free, irrevocable copyright license to reproduce, prepare derivative works of, public display, publicly perform, sub-license, and distribute text and image prompts you input into the service, or assets produced by the service at your discretion. The license survives termination of this agreement by any party for any reason. Now, your rights, subject to the above license, you own all the assets you create with the services. This does not apply if you fall under the exceptions below. I actually will have this here on the screen. As you can see, you own the content that you're creating. Now, there are some caveats that MidJourney can use, parts of what you own. However, with DAL-E, you do not own the work. They actually reversed it. So you can purchase credits in groups of 115 for $15 a piece and images generated by DAL-E are owned by OpenAI, but the company grants users exclusive rights to reproduce and display their generations as long as they comply with the content policy. Content violations will revoke your right to legally use generated images. So the big thing that I want you to take away is on one platform, you own them. On the other, the other platform owns it. All right. With that being said, I wanna to touch on to Meta's text-to-video AI generator. So this takes the image AI generated content and kind of bumps it up a level where you're creating quick form videos based on text. And actually Mark Zuckerberg, he displayed the capabilities of the program by showing a teddy bear painting a self-portrait, a spaceship landing on Mars, and a baby sloth with a knitted hat trying to figure out a laptop. All of these videos were generated via text prompts that the AI machine then turns into a moving video thanks to deep learning and image synthesizers such as GPT-3 and LAION-5B. Now this is obviously amazing and I've already seen articles where they've talked about generating movies completely out of AI. So again, these are all innovations that will ultimately I think really flood the market and probably bring down the value of a lot of these works overall and open the floodgates, sort of like when you had all these softwares that allowed anybody to become artists or web designers. But at the same time, it's more content. It, it allows regular people to get into these things that normally would have cost them millions of dollars. Uh, they can now generate, you know, text and, uh, you know, just to start out with these clips for relatively cheap, I'm assuming. Uh, we'll see what Facebook inevitably ends up charging for this sort of service as they do not have a price out currently. And right now it's only people within the company that uh, have begun to use it. Super cool stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like I said, I will be diving into DALL-E and if I feel it's substantial enough, I'll be making videos to show off some of the artwork that I was able to create or let you guys know how you can apply that in a business sense. Let me know what you guys think of this video in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been The Ignorant Entrepreneur. I'm out.